on January 21st, 2011, when I was summoned to Kaiser Permanente Medical Center for a biopsy for prostate cancer. Uh, country we see differences really by race ethnicity and kind of where you live and the uh, statistics suggest that the african-american community suffers some of the worst health outcomes and one of the worst health statuses of any ethnic group even to the point where it's killing us a lot of times the african-american culture specifically won't reach out and look outside of itself for help because historically we've been mistreated and historically a lot of things have been done to the detriment of the african-american culture not only financially but physically and medically um, again the tuskegee experiment was one where syphilis was purposely and intentionally given to African Americans. It creates a sense of hostility and disappointment and it leaves a lot of people feeling like the medical industry, the medical system, researchers in particular aren't trustworthy. And that means that there is a delay in reaching out for help when there is a valid diagnosis or when there uh, where medical treatment is necessary and needed. That means that a lot of African Americans, in particular African American men, oftentimes we find that it's very, very difficult for African American men to engage in medical treatment because, partly because they don't, they don't trust their medical professionals, and secondarily because of fear. Death was very real. The, the lowest moment, if you will, was, was the time when when I really started thinking about my wife, my children, and the church, uh, I really started thinking about, about them. And honestly, was I ready, was, could I leave them? Would they be okay? Could they be okay? We had a moment in Saratoga where we talked about just life and cancer and I was, you know, the overwhelmingness, I guess, of the option when people hear cancer. When you, we think of cancer, for most people, it's a disease of finality. It's something that most people take and we take it with with fear and apprehension of the doom type of mentality and in Saratoga we 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 talked about that we were honest about the fact that you know wow this is something that people do die from uh, you can lose people to cancer you you know what do you do um, and all of our discussion and all of our discussing it and talking about life itself and our life, and it brought us back to God, which is our foundation.
we also have to recognize that um, we have to use faith wisely and we have to combine information and things that we do. We've got to take proper action. I've began to help get the word out about our diseases, in particular prostate cancer, because I experienced it. And I began partnering with the Green Foundation. We understand that we can't do it by ourselves and we like to be able to partner with other organizations to get the message out about educating and empowering individuals. We talk about different types of health topics and uh, outreach. We have different types of programs for breast cancer support groups. We also do a patient navigation where we help link people to the services in their own local communities. And we're excited about the Act Now signature conferences where there's a statewide program where we go to different cities and customize them to the local residents to let them know about the services as well as bring in caliber speakers to talk about on a high level of what awareness and how we can save lives through prevention, wellness, and early detection. We are starting a movement that it's now the Affordable Health Care Law. It is no longer an act. It is law. It is the law of the land. It's here and it's here to stay. And we're excited about it because we feel that it is a wonderful first step toward health reform and that many African Americans who have been underinsured or uninsured will now have access to health care and that it provides an opportunity to look at health care from a different perspective. We say a different um, window, the prevention and wellness window. And we need you all, community people, yes. to be educated. The, the resources for people without insurance uh, uh, depend on where they live, what states, what communities. Uh, I think things are going to change very dramatically in this regard with the implementation of the uh, Affordable Health Care Act, or so-called Obamacare. If you look at the available evidence, available data, at least half of all cancer cases appear to be linked to modifiable lifestyle or behavior factors. Uh, and what's even more striking to me is that many of those cancers that we discuss as being treatment resistant that have uh, very low cure rates are often the same cancers that are most directly linked to our lifestyle choices. The idea of early detection, which is a major theme across our country and coming from many different venues, but I've, I've learned to help get the word out in regards to the different conferences and things like that. And I've actually just talked to men at the school at the gym, at the mall where we walk, and uh, I've, I've learned to talk to them about the importance of uh, exercise. One of the things they encourage us to do is to maintain a very active lifestyle and that involves uh, exercise. And each and every day, uh, heart health is something that is very important to us. The importance of getting proper health checkups, the importance of eating right foods. Wow. My eating habits have changed. A whole lot of things that we eat may be good, but they're not necessarily good for us. Our last PSA check was two months ago, and it was, it was a miraculous 0 0.03, an amazing, amazing, amazing. Here I sit here today, alive, well, you can't be more cancer free than 0 0.03. What a blessing, a truly a blessing. And so that, that'd be the number one thing I'd tell me, get a health checkup. Don't listen to all of the, the garble about, you know, you don't need that or you don't need this. Take care of your own health. Get a checkup. You need to allow some professional to tell you what's going on with your body. Sounds simple? Well, it is.
We got to do it. We got to apply it. We got to take action. Thank you for supporting the Green Foundation.